So earlier this year, um, when one of the president's executive orders was enacted, I decided that I wanted to volunteer at the airport to help people who had been detained in customs. Um, so a call went out from the Dulles Justice Coalition, which is what this group of lawyers who were volunteering there called themselves uh, for an upcoming training. And I RSVP'd and it very clearly said in the email, you don't have to be a lawyer, which is good because I'm not. So I arrived at the airport about five minutes early and I went to their table which was right next to the escalators you go in for the uh, arrivals area. And uh, they said, okay, wait here a minute. We're gonna have somebody show you to where the orientation is. And I thought that was kind of weird because I thought it was just gonna happen by the gate where the international arrivals come in. But this woman starts walking us down the length of the airport. So international arrivals is at one end, and we walked all the way to the other end, where there's a conference center at Dulles Airport, in the airport, which, you know, we got back there, and I was like, oh, well, this makes sense. There's a media room. Of course, if something happens at the airport, they need to have a press conference. That makes sense, but there's a whole warren of conference rooms back there. So, we go through the orientation. It is definitely geared toward lawyers to the point that when it got over, I said, uh, what if you're not a lawyer? Because it said in the email, and they're like, no, no, it's fine, because mostly you're just asking people questions and taking down information. So then they walked us all back to the other end of the airport so that they could show us where the table was and forms that we might need to fill out, all of that kind of stuff. And then they asked if people had any special skills. And, you know, some of that was foreign language skills. And while they were doing this, they said, does anybody here speak French? We need somebody right now. And I don't know why I raised my hand, because I had not put that on the form, because I didn't really want to talk about legal stuff in French. My French is rusty. But I was able to help somebody who just uh, had some questions. He wasn't able to find the person who was supposed to pick him up. So then we get back and, you know, special skills. Does anybody, you know, would anybody like to help us organize some things? Well, that's something I can do. You don't need to be a lawyer for that. So behind the escalators in the airport, they have these two giant cabinets that are crammed full of office supplies and food that other non-lawyers were like, well, I can't volunteer, but let me give you some things you might need. So like enough paper to last five years, and um, as people had been bringing coffee, they had put all of the accessories into the closet, so all the sugars, three or four big bags full of the little creamers that say keep refrigerated. <laughs> um, <laughs> so my husband and I spent about two hours organizing these cabinets, and um, the lawyers who were there were like, oh, you're an angel, I can't believe you did this. And I was like, well, you guys are doing the hard work, you know, this is, this is fine, this is something I can do. Well, we have another project you could help us with. And so I say, sure, we have a little more time. And then they lead us to this other part of the airport that I didn't know existed. But again, it makes sense, storage. So back we go into this dark hallway with storage cabinets with, I'll politely say, evidence of mice or rats. Um, and uh, we spent about two hours that night cleaning out this darkened closet and came back another day to finish the job. And so I realized there's the Dulles Justice Coalition, there's the Justice League, and my role is in the Justice Cabinet. Thank <laughs> you.